Now it takes a new leader at the University of Pennsylvania. The Board of Trustees names Dr. Larry Jamison its interim president this afternoon. Good evening, everyone. I'm Yuki Washington. Jess is off tonight. It's been a tough time for the University of Pennsylvania community. Tonight, faculty, staff, and students are hoping they can move on after days of controversy. Joe Holden joins us now with more on Dr. Jameson's resume. Joe? Well, Yuki, sources say there's been internal turmoil and frustration at Penn, and it is hoped the selection of an interim president brings some calm. The board voting unanimously to approve the appointment of Dr. Larry Jameson. Dr. Jameson has a deep resume of medical experience. He's currently executive vice president of the Penn Health System and dean of the Raymond and Ruth Perlman School of Medicine since 2011. He's a UNC graduate and has worked at Northwestern University, Harvard Medical School, and Massachusetts General Hospital. Jameson now taking the reins as the university works to repair its image that even students agree has suffered a hit. Former President Liz McGill resigned Saturday. Sources say the relationship between McGill and the Board of Trustees had rapidly deteriorated after her testimony before a congressional committee that was investigating anti-Semitism on campuses across the country. Because of her testimony and answers before that committee, Congress members then launched an investigation into the University of Pennsylvania. Dr. Jameson, now in this interim role, is said to be a consummate university citizen who is a collaborative, innovative, and visionary leader, according to a letter to members of the Penn community. Jameson, of course, clearly now inherits the deeply public struggles Penn has had in calling out anti-Semitism. He'll remain interim president until a permanent leader is named. This is Joe Holden, CBS News, Philadelphia. Yuki. And Joe, I know you'll keep us updated. Thank you so much.